Walk me through why we should buy EM now. Well, because uh, Turkey's problem is entirely unique and self-inflicted. Uh, Turkey has been working pretty hard for the last eight years trying to screw up its economy. Uh, that's very different from most other EM countries. You can invest uh, very readily in about 70 countries. And as far as I know, there's not a single other emerging market country that has a president who believes that interest rates, high interest rates, cause inflation. Um, these macroeconomic problems are very unique to Turkey. To the extent that uh, concerns in Turkey then lead to, say, selling of Philippine bonds, well, then clearly, with nothing having happened in Philippines, but uh, Philippine bonds getting cheaper, that becomes a buying opportunity. That's the argument, really. It is a strong argument. I think it would be a stretch to say we're about to see a 1990s-type EM crisis. Yeah, and I don't think it's a stretch to say this does have echoes of 2013, with balance sheet unwind over at the Federal Reserve, higher interest rates starting to bite the fragile five, as we used to call them, the countries with big mm -hmm. current account deficits. Does that make a little bit more sense to you, Jan? Uh, yes, except uh, you have to take into account valuations. I mean, we're looking at completely different valuations from what we had back then. We're looking at currencies that are 30% cheaper, much stronger current account balances, much higher bond yields already, and much lower inflation. So uh, a lot of the adjustment has, has been done already. Investors also have much lighter positioning now, so there's not a lot of room for capital flight. In fact, we've not seen uh, a lot of redemptions uh, at all uh, so far in response to the pullback in EM this year, nor do I think we are likely to do so because investors are already very, very light, and many of them understand that the uh, uncertainty um, uh, hovering over EM is very specific to one or two countries and concerns more broadly about the U.S. There is a sense that as soon as the clouds uh, sort of clear a little bit, then we could see a, a very, very strong bounce back in EM because the value is there, the technicals are good, and the vast majority of these countries look pretty healthy. Well, yeah, let's talk about where the value is, whether it's in fixed income or equity, because it's where, I, where I see things going right now is short-term interest rates aggressively higher in some of these countries. That surely has to choke off growth domestically. Well, um, I would say that in a country like Turkey, you should definitely uh, expect uh, a recession to come in at some point in time. I would agree with that. But that's because Turkey has been running for nearly a decade with too loose monetary policy. But if you're looking across the entire EM space, um, for example, the local currency bond universe, we're looking at yields that are, that are sitting at, at 680 right now um, for five-year investment-grade government bonds. And inflation is running with a three-handle. So you're looking at more than 350 basis points positive real yield for five-year government bonds that are investment grade. I mean, this is, this is really quite attractive by historical standards. And compared to developed market standards, it's, it's outstanding value.